What's going on guys? Today we're going to be doing things a little bit differently. For those of you who don't live in Italy, I wanted to clue you in and let you know that here in Italy we've been on lockdown again for a while now. I understand for many of you in the United States you may also be saying we've been on lockdown as well, but here in Europe things are a lot different, especially in Italy. For example, cycling last year it was completely illegal. For almost two full months we weren't allowed to ride our bikes outside at all. This year I'm trying to constantly remind myself that I've got to be grateful for what I have and we're allowed to ride but we can only ride in places that are accessible from our house. We can't even drive our car 20 minutes down the road to get to the trailhead to ride. Instead we have to ride our bike that distance and then ride the trail. So it's been incredibly difficult trying to get out and ride but I'm trying to remain positive. I'm reminding myself of all these amazing hidden gems like the one that you can see here behind me and I've been slowing things down a bit just really appreciating the trails that I have so close to my house and slowing down taking a look at them trying out different lines and every now and again just stopping to take in the scenery in addition to that cool little church that you can still see back there behind me I mean I'm just walking through the woods right now and look at this just a super sweet awesome castle tower like you can't beat some of the amazing incredible things here in Italy and so I'm just trying to remind myself how great these trails are that we have here at home and we have some of the coolest most unique things that you could ever imagine like who knows when this was built, but I can assure you it's probably been here for 400 plus years. The history here in Europe is just insane, especially in comparison to the United States. And so I always wanna remind myself, just take that moment, slow down and take it all in because there's so many amazing things all around us. Now, for today's trails, we're actually doing things a little bit differently in that instead of some more popular, longer segments, we're gonna be hitting shorter ones. They're only like a minute, minute and a half, but they're worthy nonetheless and I can't wait to show you guys. Some of these trails they don't even have names. For example you can see this sign right behind me it says Sentiero but that just means trail so it just points in a direction you find the single track and then you go hit it. This first one that we're going to be hitting is called Sentiero San Rocco. This is a trail that I've actually been riding a lot lately because if you follow me on Instagram or Strava you've been seeing that I've been trying to dial in my suspension on my e-bike and I've been using this one because it's perfect. It's only about a minute and a half and so when I'm done I can turn around and head back up the trail so I can go get another lap in after I fine tune and dial in my suspension settings. And then we're going to be hitting a really popular segment called Pararolo Zonki and after that we're going to be hitting a trail doesn't have a name but I've highlighted it before and that was when I made my endo turn video and I was constantly working on trying to do those nose pivot turns on really tight switchbacks. So stay tuned for that one because it's super interesting such a technical trail anyways let's go hit the trail and have some fun like i mentioned this trail is perfect for dialing a suspension starts off flat and smooth and then in just a little bit we'll get into some really really techy rock and it eats up your front fork and your shock. So it's crucial to have your high speed and low speed settings set just right. And you want to get through this trail quick. A couple loose corners. A little bit of techie rock. A little gap. Now comes the final rock garden, and this thing is brutal. You may have noticed that the video looks a little bit different today, and that's because I'm actually using my GoPro Max 360 camera. So there's some really cool, unique things that I can do with it. That's another way that I've just been trying to keep things interesting on my local trails and spicing it up, just trying a new camera, different settings, just playing with it, having fun. Anyways, we're gonna head over to Pararolo and hit Zonki. So we'll be there in just a bit.
So that trail was called Zonkey, and like I mentioned, can't travel anywhere right now to ride. So it serves as a great opportunity for me to just get out and explore all these trails that I haven't seen or ridden in almost a year. Because I found other places like Kolyugani and then the Dolomites and all the bike parks that I normally hit in the summer, that's usually where I go, but I can't go anywhere right now. So I come and I hit trails like this, which are awesome and I really enjoy, uh, but they're a little bit further from home, so I don't usually make it to them i have to ride everywhere i want to go right now so rode my bike over here that way i can show it to you guys and share it with you now we're going to go hit another trail one that i highlighted before so let's go ahead over there and check it out And that was the last trail, which spits us out here in a town called Tormeno. And recently they built this awesome pump track that you can see right here behind me. It's pretty sweet. I always see a bunch of kids out here riding, which is always amazing to see. On a mountain bike, I'll be honest, it's not the best, the wheelbase on our bikes. It's just a little bit too long, especially for the roller section over here. Uh, but you know, they got a nice, huge, massive double and a little step table that's pretty fun so that's gonna be it for today's video i hope you enjoyed it if you did be sure to give this video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and tell me where to ride next